Greetings, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we reveal the startling reality that lies under the glitzy exterior of Markle, McKinsey, and Prince Harry. Gentlemen and ladies, we are taking part in a fashion showdown that features two well-known celebrities the world over. As we go into this fashion drama, let's talk about more than just the clothes, let's talk about the boldness and obvious disrespect for originality that seem to be at play here. Princess Kate and Meghan Markle have found themselves in a nearly identical sartorial predicament. However, I want to thank each and every one of you for your tremendous love and support before we get into any more information. If you haven't already, what are you guys waiting for to subscribe to my channel? Don't forget to click the bell symbol once you've hit the subscribe button. Let's get going now. Here is a photo of a stunning lace gown that was created by none other than Diane von Fenberg, and it is worn gracefully. Known for her immaculate sense of style, Princess Kate initially attracted attention with this outfit during the 2014 Royal Variety performance. According to fashion fanatic Bose, the Zarita dress features a flowing fluted skirt, fitting bodidus translucent lace sleeves. Kate looked stunning in this dress accessorizing it with bold jewelry and well-groomed hair. It is a garment that eases grace and class. In 2017, Kate appears in the same outfit for yet another breathtaking occasion, a charity dinner honoring and Freud scent's final effort. This is where the narrative deepens. Her choice of accessories, which included matching earrings and diamond bracelets, only enhanced the glitz. Before entering the royal family, Meghan Markle made the decision to wear a same dress, just a different color and length. She wore a shorter navy version of the Zarita dress to an event hosted by USA Network back in 2012. I mean, I think it's great to experiment with fashion, but it's impossible to overlook how much UNC's style looks like Kate's signature ensemble. In addition to the outfit selection, what's so perplexing about this picture is how similar their hair and accessories are. Kate's bouncy curls in 2017 were reminiscent of Meghan's voluptuous curly blow-dry from 2012. It almost seems as though Meghan followed Kate's style decisions to the letter rather than merely being inspired by them, but that's not all, ladies and gents. They've been photographed wearing matching bright red gowns, so they're virtually styled twins now. Their fashion deja vu doesn't stop with a lace gown. I like that people share their thoughts on fashion, but this appears to cross the line into copying. The lack of creativity in this situation, particularly on Meghan's part, is quite depressing. In a world full with avant-garde looks and distinctive fashion selections, one would think more of a public figure. It's important to exhibit your uniqueness and not only look good when dressing. Express yourself with style Lady Meghan's decision to repeatedly adopt Kate's style raises doubts about her sincerity and innovation in the big picture, but Kate has always been admired for her grace and elegance, so she doesn't need to copy others to make a statement. Fashion may seem unimportant, but it frequently reflects how we live, do we dare to stand out and embrace our individuality, or do we follow the herd and mentally copy others? Though authenticity ultimately takes center stage, it's a question worth considering for all of us, not just Meghan and Kate. As we watch this fashion showdown, let's hope for more originality, creativity, and, most importantly, the courage to be true to oneself. What do you think about this news, guys? Please let me know in the comments section below. Keep checking our YouTube channel for more stunning tales and scandalous exposes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive updates on the newest happenings in the realm of the royal family. Regards for seeing. We'll be back soon with some more intriguing royal family news. So long, bye.